okay. Keep your hair. It was working so well. Yes, too well. And it took me such a long time to make it. We began to look for the plane in the trees. Oh, what's the good? We'll never find it. Well, we can't give up, not just like that. Come on. to a wall around a big house. It must be in there. Then let's see. Oh, Tim, you'd better not. I'm only going to have a look. Tim got up on his bike and had a look over the wall. Get down, Tim. Someone will see you. There's no one living there. Come on, Jenny. got over the wall. It looks empty. It is empty. I know it is. I began to look for the plane again. Suddenly I saw the plane. Was Tim. Tim was trying to look inside the house. Tim. I found the plane. Let's go. No! There's a light on inside that room. Tim was right. There was a light in the room. Someone was living there after all. Can I help you? He certainly gave Jenny and Tim a fright, but they deserved it. After all, Tim was trying to look inside the house. What did he tell Jenny he'd seen? A light. Where was the light? Inside the room. You are reading the words out loud, aren't you? Now then, do you recognize this? It's Jenny's control unit. But in the story, the control unit wasn't working very well, was it? Yes, something funny happened to Jenny's plane. Well, now, what's happened to Mr. Watchword? I wonder if he's still in there. Mr. Watchword? Surely he's not still asleep. <laughs> I'll wake him up. Oh, good heavens. What's that? You'll see. It's a... <coughs> net. Oh, look out. Oh, I'm going to catch it. Ah, come here, come here. Come here. Oh. Uh, I got it. Ah, uh, that's it. Ooh, read the word I've put that letter into. Get. Oh, I'm 
once more. Get him up in. That's it. Oh, yeah. Here's another word. Read it. Let. Hear that eh sound in let? Let's find some more words with that eh sound in them. Well. Fell. Ooh. Uh, uh. There. You're not going to get away yet. Now, what sound does that letter make? Eh. Now it's missing letter time. And what's Jenny saying? I didn't like to get over the wall. Yes, that's what she said, boys and girls, and that's what it looks like written down. But she's left a letter out, and you have to use me to show her letter's missing. Ooh. Ooh. I, oh, There's another way to write it. I did not like to get over the wall. See the difference? Hear the difference. Didn't. Did not. Didn't. Did not. Didn't. Did not. Who's this? Yes, it's Jenny. Now, Jenny's name ends with an I sound. We've had one before. Jenny. But this one looks different. It's not the same letter, is it? Why? Why this letter? Why says it? Why it's saying it in many? Why it's saying it in Jenny? Why it's saying it in Jenny? Why in words so very many? Why so many, many little why say Why should it hurry or scurry? Why should it ever feel sorry? If you look any day anywhere, you'll find many more everywhere. Suddenly you'll see them showing, find them suddenly worth knowing. Very soon you'll start to see why very, very many little why say e. Yes, many, many, many little whys say e. Now, stand by. I'm going to send you some signals. You read them. Suddenly. Sand. Sunday. Hey, there's something different about that last signal. Come back. Hmm, yes, I thought so. It started with a capital letter. But remember, it still makes the same sound. So, stand by for a longer signal. I've just made it up. It's got lots of capital letters in it. Get ready. Signal coming over now. Silly. Sam sits on the... Sand on Sunday. Oh, my signal's a real tongue twister. You're supposed to read it as fast as you can. So get your tongues all wagging and loosened up, and let's see how fast we can go. Here it comes again. Silly Sam sits on the sand on Sunday. Silly Sam sits on the sand on Sunday. Silly Sam sits on the sips on Sunday. Oh, so sip to our hearts, we part. <laughs> And now, here's a word game. What's this? It's a... box. Right, let's find some spaces to fit that word into. One letter in each space.
Now, what's this? It's a... bike. Now, can we fit that word into the spaces left? Uh, yes, we can. If we use the B that's there already, then it'll fit. There. That's a picture crossword. 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 Crosswords are fun. Have you ever done one? If you'd like to have a go, your teacher knows where to find them. They're in the teacher's notes. Oh, so you're back with us, are you? Yes. And I've got something for you. For me? What is it? It's my special word watcher button. Here, put it on. It looks like you. And it's got, I am a word watcher on it. Oh, yes. <laughs> You're a real word watcher now. Thank you, Mr. Watchword. No, just call me Wordy. You too. You're all word watchers now. Why not make one of my special buttons for yourself? But be sure to make it look like me. Bye-bye. <laughs> now then. Let's read some more of my story. Who's telling the story this week? This is Jenny telling the story. Yes, it's Jenny again. She and Tim have just climbed over the wall of that big house to look for her plane, remember? Read what she says out loud and start as soon as you see her first words come up on the screen. I said, can I help you? Um, we... Oh. Well? We lost my plane. It came over the wall. I see. But why were you trying to look inside my house? We didn't know anyone was living here. Then I saw the light on in the room. I see. Well, I live here. And I don't like anyone getting over my wall and looking in at my windows. We're sorry. I'm Ram Pandit. Who are you? I'm Jenny Barber. And I'm Tim. We live the other side of Downham, by the river. Mr. Pandit. <laughs> Just call me Ram. Ram. Ram? Yes, that's it. May I see your plane? Mm. It's got a radio control unit. I made it myself. Well, well. <laughs> it's very like a plane I made. That was a long time ago. Does this one fly well? Yes, it does. But the control unit isn't working very well. Oh, may I see it? Did you make this as well? Yes, from a kit. Mm -hmm. 
He was a long time looking at it. How far from here were you? Oh, about a mile. A mile? Then I think I know why the control unit didn't work. But why? I'm sorry, Mr. Pandit, but I can't get into the laboratory. Mr. Turner's gone for his walk and I must get on with the housework. Oh, I too am sorry, Mrs. Green. Here's the key. Oh, thank you. Oh, meet my new friends, Jenny and Tim Barber. We lost my plane. It came over the wall and they came after it. Well, you mustn't do things like that. Your plane, is it? Mrs. Green looks after me. She comes from Fenham. You see, we're not very good at housework. Ram, I think I've got it. What we have to do is... Uh, did you have a good walk, Dick? Meet my friend, Mr. Turner. He likes going for long walks. It helps me to think. If you have a laboratory, are you a scientist? Yes, I am a scientist. Mr. Turner is a scientist too. I wanted to know what they were doing, but I didn't like to ask them. Come and meet the other scientist who helps us. He lives in the laboratory. Lives there? Yes, we keep him there. We put him there some time ago. And we never let him out. You can't do that! Oh, yes, we can. Come and see. Ram Pandit led us inside the house. And then, into the laboratory. Well, here we are. This is where we scientists work. Oh, it's not the room with the light. Well, here he is. Here is the other scientist. It's a computer. Yes, Jenny, it's a computer. A computer's not a scientist. Oh, shut up, Tim. <laughs> no, you're right. But it seems like one of us because it does such a lot of work for us. Oh, I've always wanted to see a computer. You can work it if you like. Press that button. Standing by.